Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Fist Strategist and welcome back to Subnautica. In the last episode we actually had a bit of a kerfuffle. Uh, this needs to be repaired obviously, since it is smoking and a smoking vehicle is no bueno. Right, anyways, we got a message. This is life pod 2, coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. And that's a little bit late, but okay. We'll definitely be visiting that. In any case, we did... That is, we... Have set up. There we go. These Chinese potatoes are making uh, quite a nice comeback. That is, they're actually rising up to meet uh, our needs. Right, I didn't plant anything in this one. Well, okay. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but yeah, in any case, that is there. Uh, what else did I actually want to do? Right, we actually. We got a bunch of nickel ores, and yeah, that's with the Cyclops bronze suit. Yeah, that needs kyanite. I don't have any kyanite yet. Right, I actually wanted to set up the the power source. Right, and I also want to get the scanner room upgrade. So first of all, let us actually upgrade the scanner room. Okay, so we have the speed upgrade, a camera drone, nah, a range upgrade. So basically four copper ores and four magnetites are needed. We're first, we're just going to go ahead and upgrade that one. So four copper ore, one, two, three, four, and four magnetites. Uh, to, uh, that's nickel, lithium, silver. That's an orange tablet. I have them somewhere around here. <laughs> I should really sort all of this out. It is uh, a mess. Okay. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, two, three, four. There we go. So we will extend the range by quite a bit from this uh, initial location so let us just go ahead and make four of these this will use up more power but my current power load can actually handle it no problems okay let's actually put in the new range hey look at that scan range 500 meters okay so yeah we should have a plethora of new options available here salt deposits there we go limestone truck wreck salt deposit limestone truck fragment what about the heat thingy Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Let me just return this camera back to base. Holy jeebus. Yeah, there we go. I guess I'll have to uh, discover all of the things again. But yeah. Okay, we should have a bunch of it, but you know, just for the sake of brevity, let's just uh, actually use the camera, since I know there's a heat source relatively close by here. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do it. We're just going to explore like this. Yeah, there we go. Shale trunk. 
It's picking up new things to scan. I believe I can go to like 500 meters with this one. There we go. Magnetite. Heat source, perhaps. Gold, okay. Yeah, and there's uh, there are the heat sources right and over there. Heat area. As you can see, it would be best to actually get the... Well, basically to get them over here. Right and over there. Basically in this general direction. Would be best to actually uh, get them. And we're just going to go ahead and go back now. <coughs> But yeah, the camera, th this is a really nice little feature because even if you actually end up dead or something, you know, you can... Uh, that is, if the camera ends up destroyed or something, it's not really that much of a loss, in all honesty. It could be a hell of a lot worse. It's better for you to lose a camera than for you to lose, uh, what do you call it? As a cyclops or a sea moth or something, because a camera is easily replaceable. Okay, but yeah. Up, up, up. Okay, so now we can actually scan for heat areas. But I'm guessing that one is the closest one. I honestly doubt that there's going to be something, you know, too terribly far away. Yeah, that, that that's bound to be the closest one. But, in any case, uh, right, we have the alien containment thing, we have the spotlight, the floodlight, the power transmitter. So, I will need two magnetites and five titanium and one aerial gel. So, I'm just going to start with four of these. So, basically, I will need to craft four aerial gel for starters. And for aerial gel, I will need rubies, I believe. Uh, <laughs> Rubies and gel sacks, which isn't really that much of a problem, so let's just go ahead and get it. Meow. Uh, we will also discover a bunch of other new things, uh, perhaps when my camera gets stolen again. But yeah, mostly the heat areas are down there, so that is a good thing that this is relatively close by as well. So, let us just uh, go ahead buzz off, you little bastard. And two, three, four. Four of them are needed. Two, three, four. There we go. Okay, I love it when it glitches out like that. Okay, nicely done. Let's go back. We'll get the four rubies. I believe the four geothermal plants can actually sustain it basically everything I need, so... I just go ahead and enter over here. Welcome aboard, Captain. And I will also try uh, because to basically just get a scanner going. So I will need 8 magnetites. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight magnetite, and I will need four rubies. Three, and I know I have enough rubies because I went on a whole tangent about getting more rubies. Um, I just have to find where I put them. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and get four arrow gels. Nice. Okay, that puts us at four. I have the magnetite as well. So I will need 20 pieces of titanium, which is five wrecks. Okay. So five wrecks. Let's actually go ahead and scan that. Fragment, heat area, limestone, magnetite. Metal salvage. Yeah, five racks is basically what it only is. So one, two, three, four, five. 
Yeah, that'll be enough just for that. Uh, I also need to put some additional titanium. So one, two, three, four, five, four, five pieces of gold in here. So yeah, five pieces of gold. One, two, three, four. And uh, 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 right, it's nothing over there. Nothing over there. Uh, five. Okay, so five pieces of gold over there, and I'll need five pieces of titanium. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm just gonna put all of that in the seamoth over here. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Excelente. Uh, al dente. Play partially translated broadcast. Yeah, and this actually used to make me think that something big was going to happen, you know, like, oh my god. You know, I'm gonna, uh, somebody's going to be hunting me down or something, but actually it's uh, basically nothing. Which was kind of disappointing, but in all honesty, if they did, were to put something in to hunt you, they would have to put weapons, you know. And then the sea would be far less scary than it actually is. One, two, three, four, and a five. Okay. Going back to base. Five times four is twenty. And I will need twenty uh, pieces of titanium to actually get all of this started hopefully I'll be able to approach the down area over there I guess we uh, I guess I guess we should see I guess we shall see once I actually get down there but yeah that should provide us with enough power for the time being okay I mean, the aurora is vast, and I don't think you can actually run out of titanium. I think it's extremely hard to actually run out of titanium. Yeah, there we go. Actually, give me some water. One should be enough for this. There we go. Okay, nice. Let's actually go. Uh, yeah, it's in storage. Let's go ahead and enter it. I could have went with the prawn suit, but it doesn't really make sense to go in with the prawn suit. And I think I'll actually will need to go back for two trips because of the power lines. I don't think five will be enough, but... You know, just for starters to see if all of this will actually pan out okay great so yeah basically from here yeah I am losing health so yeah this is going to be a bit tricky but in all honesty, if I can put it over... Yeah, let's try it. Just gotta watch out for my health. It doesn't fall too far down. One... Two... Okay. The first one obviously somewhere over here. Uh, 
And the fourth one over here. That should be it. They're all hitting near to 100 or over 100 degrees. So that is quite substantial. Okay. Okay, give me all of that. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Ah, da, 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 da. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay. Okay, let's actually push with this. Yeah, they all four of them are connected to that to those two Which is great, but I will need more gold and more titanium for this So yeah, there shouldn't technically be any limit as to How far away you can actually draw this so, Ooh, goddamn so that should be interesting <laughs> in itself. But yeah, that that was pretty awesome. Okay, but my health got absolutely shredded. Like, I'll need to ditch the radiation suit because I don't think there are any spots of radiation left. And I actually get the, the reinforced dive suit. Most definitely. I was definitely getting the reinforced dive suit. I mean, come on. Synthetic fiber. Okay. All right. Let's just uh, finish this off. Then we can actually move on. Okay. So more gold and more titanium. One, two, three, four, five, six. There is a gold node in case I do have to mine it, but I don't think I will. Three, four, five, six. There we go. Yeah, I believe that'll be enough. So, one thousand seven hundred and twenty-five. That's what we're at currently. Of variable power. Now, what does variable power mean? Basically, variable power is. <laughs> It relies on a fuel source, and I don't really like having that. So, let's see what we can actually do with the heating source with four well-placed geothermal plants. Whoa -ho -ho. I'm spinning. There we go. Okay, I like it how I immediately damaged, my, uh, damaged the sea moth. And right in over there. Okay, good. And the next one is we should generally be just aiming up. That's the second one. Okay. The third one should be over here. And that's good. And let's have the fourth one. All of this is a little bit dubious. Let's actually just have it here as a good anchoring point. Yeah. And from there we can actually just start taking it up. Right and over here. Okay. Okay, I have four more. I believe it'll be more than four, but I could be wrong about that. Let's actually put it. Okay, yeah, it won't function that way. But hey, if I could put it here, that would be amazing. Huh? 
Okay, yeah, that's some next level bullshit, if I'm being perfectly honest. <laughs> There's not a chance in hell that would ever work. But I'm glad it's working. Okay. Bam. And the last one. Let's just place it over here. I guess if it's connected, it's good. Yep. And I believe I'll need a couple more, but for now, let me actually just return to my sim mod because technically we're done. The connection is established. The connection is secure. All we need to do is to actually just connect it back to... Uh, what do you call it? I could always expand a little bit to the left, you know, add one or two additional ones, one or two additional ones over there. You know, it's uh, this isn't fixed. Uh, more could be had. And this also gives me a nice little direction in which uh, I, I can actually just go. Which I also appreciate. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, we're out. Okay, now I just need to take it in that general direction over there. But I will need more titanium. But let's just get this one settled in. Okay. And let's just put it to like... Over here, I guess. Okay, yeah, it is connected. Excellent. Okay, enter the CMOD. Oh, and wait, that actually connects to my base. Well, that's some line of logic right there. Okay, well, that's great. I don't have to waste any more resources. So I was at 1725, now I'm 2725. So that is 1000 of... No, 1005... Yeah, no. 1000 of... Pure raw power. From that. It was a little bit expensive, I'm not gonna lie. Just, just generally getting it. But... I cannot say that it wasn't well worth it. But, uh, right, for now, let us actually go ahead and get something to eat and to drink. I mean, I'm starving. Ah, uh, we actually have the bulbo tree. So let's actually get, uh, wow. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, to put one back in here, one over here. Bam, bam. <laughs> See, that's how you do it. Basically, from one tree, I fed and uh, nurtured myself, if that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Okay, we are good. Rightio, rightio. Right, we have to get the reinforced diver suit. Let me just check my bio, bio things. Perhaps that whole. Yeah, this one is at two. That one over there is okay. Yeah, we have all of those melons. This one is at one. This one, yeah, everything is a okay. Okay, now the only thing that would actually really secure the entire thing is a nuclear reactor. But for now, we have more than done enough. Uh, in all honesty, there's absolutely no need for that. But in any case, let us actually take a look at what... All right, a compass. That might not be the worst idea ever to actually get. If I'm being perfectly honest, but uh, right, orange tablet, ion cube, ion cube, okay, modification station. What else can I actually make? There, this is uh, we have Calafka console. I have that, have it, have it, have it, have it, have it, battery charger, right? The power cell charger. 
Yeah, that requires rubies. Okay, right. And I will need plenty of those. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Mm. Okay. Uh, but for now, yeah, that can be ignored. Let me just exchange the batteries. There we go. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Okay, good. Bam. 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 Perfect. Right, uh, the reinforced diver suit. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, what do I need for that? Under equipment, I don't really need much. I do need the reinforced diver suit. So synthetic fiber. Okay, so basically that is the only thing in question because I have no idea how to make that. Uh, we shall see. Titanium fiber mesh, bleach, glass, silicone, rubber, lubricant, and uh, hydrophobic acid, benzene, synthetic fibers. There we go. So I need benzene and fiber mesh. So I basically need creep fine samples and blood boils. Uh, okay, so one creep fine sample. Or is it two creep fine samples for one fiber mesh? Yeah, two creep fine samples, and I will need. Do I need three or six blood boils, the blood things? Uh, I need three, okay. Got it. Okay. Right, I could have actually moved the garden a little bit closer, but... I guess it, it doesn't do anybody any harm if it's over here, I mean. Two... two okay, hold on. One... Two, three. There we go. Right, nearly forgot. I need the creep point cluster. I think I'm Jackson. I'm just gonna take that from over here in the wild. Not my homegrown kind. And let's just go back. Do I need one fiber mesh or two fiber meshes? I do believe I need one mesh. Ah, we shall see. But in any case, let me just get the diamonds. So, one diamond. Okay, one diamond, one diamond. Where is the other one? There we go. And I'll need two pieces of titanium. There we go. Let's head on over here. Fiber mesh. Uh, benzene, synthetic fibers, okay, reinforced diver suit, excellente my friends, excellente, there we go, reinforced diver suit, reinforced gloves, over here I do have the rebreather which is a nice, Okay, and that's surrounding steam temperatures. There we go. I have the fins. I could actually upgrade my fins, ultra glide fins. So by comparison to regular fins. Yeah, let's do that. I do I have the ultra high capacity tank? I do have the ultra high capacity tank. So silicon rubber times two. And for that I will need the yellow seeds, right? Rubber X2, so just one creep wine vine cluster. And the rest I already have, so we can actually get that enhanced stream speed as well. Which is also kind nice. So we got the reinforced suit, we got basically everything. So for one of these, I will get two of those. I have a feeling I fucked up somehow. I guess we shall see.
Oh, do I need one silicon rub? Oh, yeah, right. Even if I need two. Yeah, I got it. So fins. Take off those fins. Titanium. And lithium. Titanium. Lithium. There you go. Ultra glide fins. Okay, we're set. We're basically upgraded as upgraded can get. We don't have the rebreather, which allows us to deep breathe deep down underground. Which is also a huge plus. And what else can we actually do? Okay, go ahead and plant two of these over there. Eat two of those. Nice. Uh, right. I actually did want to look up at some racks. So let's actually stop salvaging for that. And let's take a look at fragments. And while that scans, I'm just going to go ahead and go to my prawn suit. Because, yeah, those fragments could range from pretty much anything to everything. Nice. Let's head on inside. Dropping down. Yeah, that's one fragment. That's another fragment. Yeah, it's a slow scanner, but it does its best, I guess. Uh, to be more specific, I need Cyclop fragments. And I'm kind of hoping for them, but we, <coughs> we also need to investigate this one. Which is basically what we're gonna do right now. We're just gonna go to CTO, use a life pod sunk, which is at like 500 meters. We're just gonna go ahead and go there. The power is transferring nicely. I actually really like it. This turned out quite well. A lot has been accomplished. Ooh! Huh, huh. That's a creamy coffee, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put too much cream in my coffee. Ooh. I usually just eat or uh, drink it, you know, raw, if you will, without anything added to it. It's just plain black coffee. Coffee. Because I don't really see the point of adding a bunch of stuff into your coffee, but sometimes I like to get a little bit of cream or a little bit of sugar, you know, just to make it more tasty or something. I don't know. It all really depends on the mood, but essentially, yeah. We're, this is going to take a while because we are traveling in a freaking suit. But on the plus note, we will be able to harvest a bunch of resources. That is always fun. And hopefully I'll actually be able to get me the Cyclops fragments that I need. That would just be a huge added plus, in all honesty, because then I would be able to do so much more with, uh, you know, basically limited. Well, not limited, but I am currently limited as to my mission range, basically. Because my mission range is extremely, extremely limited. Oh, but... Yeah, there it is. Okay. Dropping on down. I'm actually looking for any deposits or anything that's scannable. Ah, that over there looks like it can be scanned. That looks like a piece of the Cyclops. Okay, scan it. 
Yeah, I already have that. Okay. Before I start getting all giddy when I see it, I should probably see what I'm missing. I think it's the bridge. Obviously, I have. Fuck off. Obviously, I have the hole. What exactly am I missing for my Cyclops? Don't tell me it's nothing. I could have created a freaking Cyclops. Engine. I need two engine pieces. That's it. Freaking remembered. Yeah, I need the gold. I did waste a lot of it. That is, I didn't really waste it, but I did spend a lot of it. So, you know, getting a little bit of pieces of gold here and there. Not the worst thing ever, as well as lithium. But okay, let's actually proceed towards the crash pod and let's see what we can actually get along the way. Then perhaps in the next one I'll specifically target engine pieces of the Cyclops. Yeah, that's a wreck over there. Let's see what we can find, you know. Uh, I haven't received this transmission. So I'm in all honesty doubting I've been here before. At least not to uh, you know a really high extent. Scanner room fragment, okay. Baba boy, that can be opened. Let's open it. Okay. Propulsion cannon fragment, okay. That's another one. Let's open up this bad boy. See what we can find in here. That one looks like it was opened. Okay, yeah, nice. That's some water. The bottle of water. Yeah, we have this sealed door over here. Uh, 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 repair to laser cutter. Okay. Let's go ahead and up. Got it open. And then we can just proceed as normal. Just a little bit every now and then. Up. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's a battery modification station fragment. That's another bottle of wawa. Battery charger, modification charger, another water. Battery charger fragment. If I actually did come across this a little bit earlier, that would have been great, but... Currently as it stands, uh, useless. Absolutely useless. But okay, I do have some water, if nothing else. Okay, let's proceed. It wasn't at all a waste of time, I did get some titanium and stuff, so... I can't really say it was a total waste of time. <coughs> what is this? Lithium. Go ahead and drill it. I have a feeling that this will be <coughs> a little bit of a well, a little bit of a pointless run, more or less. Storage has no room for this item. What do you mean? I'm a fucking idiot. Okay. Okay, hold on. I didn't empty out my storage. That's basically what has happened here. Okay, so that's why it's telling me that it doesn't have any storage. I was like, I'm running low on resources. I should probably go on a run or something, but I actually have resources. So I just didn't empty it out. <laughs> that seems to be the problem here.
Yeah, I believe I'm just gonna leave this one as it is. Let's actually proceed on over to the pod. And let's just drop down here. And we're just going to go in this general direction. Yeah, there's plenty of stuff. But now I'm more than halfway there. That is, I'm almost there. I'm not just gonna turn back. I do have the marker in case I need it. You know, <coughs> later on to actually return. But for now, let us focus on finding a wreck and actually finding uh, this capsule over here. That is specifically mentioned. And of course, nickel. If I find any nickel, I should focus on that as well. Okay, a little bit further down. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I can't believe I wasn't already here. Uh, although I could have just... You know, I actually collected the thing. I most likely collected the thing, in all honesty. It just seems like some sort of thing that I would do. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's see. Well, I really do be swimming a lot faster like this. Uh, I thought... I flog T plus two minutes. Okay. Anything else? From what I can see, no. Okay, let's see. <coughs> let's see if we can find a wreck or something. Now let's just head on up here. God damn. Everything gets destroyed eventually. Okay, I actually really hate that propulsion. That propulsion was dog shit. There we go. This one is much better. Yeah, I can see something over here. What is this? Huh? What is this? Huh? Okay. Yeah, that's some lead. I have a surprising... Oh, that's like a Leviathan thing, I'm a jerk. I have a surprising amount of uh, lead at my base. Which I still find weird. I guess I don't re really use lead all that often. Hmm. Yeah, we're just going to stick in this general direction. We should come across a wreckage sooner or later. And also I'm just going to keep a lookout for engine parts. Because generally the more dangerous the area, the likelier the chance of engine parts are. Very cyclop parts in general. <clears throat> yeah, we have plenty of these guys. Okay, we're proceeding over here. Yeah, it's, I'm still not seeing anything substantial, but this seems to lead to a pretty sharp drop. And there doesn't seem to be pretty much anything else over here. <coughs> Which is also kind of surprising in all honesty. 
I'm guessing this is like the dead end zone. Could be wrong though. I just go ahead and save the game. <laughs>